Ladies and gentlemen, here comes another yummy series. Hello, lovelies. On today's menu, we have yam pottage. Even if you don't like yam pottage, the look of this one will make you to want to have a taste. That is how good it is. If you're new here, my name is Chingwe. Please like this video and share with your friends and families. Thank you and let's start cooking. To make this beautiful recipe, I will be using grilled mackerel fish. Feel free to use any fish of your choice. I've got tomato puree to add that beautiful lush and texture. Seasoning cubes, scotch bonnet pepper and sweet pepper. Please add pepper to your taste and two large onions. I will be using the combination of vegetable oil and palm oil and my grounded crayfish. For my green vegetables, I will be using one bag of frozen spinach and frozen curry leaves and salt to taste. Here is my yam and two ripe plantain. The ripe plantain will help to elevate the taste of this dish. Next, I will cut and peel my yam. I will cut into cubes to enable it to cook faster. Feel free to cut any shape you prefer. Once I'm done cutting, I will transfer it into a bowl, add enough water and set it aside. Next, I will peel, cut my plantain and set it aside. Once I'm done prepping, it's time to make our yam pottage. In my pot, I'll go in with my vegetable oil and palm oil. Once that heats up, next I'll go in with my chopped onions and curry leaves. I'm going to fry for a while to release the fragrance. Next, I'll go in with my tomato puree. I'm going to fry until the sour taste is gone. Next, I'll go in with my pepper and fry for 3 minutes. And for the seasoning, I will go in with seasoning cubes and salt. I will mix to combine. Next, I will go in with my yam and plantain. I will mix to combine and add water to the level of the yam. Next, I will add my fish. Cover and allow it to cook on a medium to low heat. While that is cooking, I will defrost my spinach by adding hot water. Allow it to sit for a while. Next, I will sieve it and squeeze out excess water from it and set it aside. At this time, the yam is soft enough. Next, I will go in with my spinach, crayfish and all-purpose seasoning. I will mix to combine and allow it to simmer for 3 minutes and once that is done, our yam pottage is ready. You guys, this is super delicious. Look at the color. Super inviting. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love and support. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Share this video with your friends and families. Thank you and always be positive and see you in our next video. Bye guys.